What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here coming at you from beautiful, sunny Phoenix, Arizona. My boy, Mark Weems. What's up, David? Dude, I am excited, dude. Yes. This is gonna be epic. Always. What are we doing today? So today we're going on a barbecue tour of Phoenix. Uh, we're gonna eat at two of the greatest barbecue destinations in Phoenix. Two very different styles, amazing barbecue. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. He's been to both. This is JL Smokehouse, like a fusion barbecue. After this, we're going straight over to Little Missy Barbecue, which is like more Texas style. We're gonna have pulled pork, we're gonna have ribs, brisket. I'm so excited, it's been a while. My man, let's do this, go inside. Man, nothing makes you more excited than barbecue. <laughs> How y'all doing? Very good. Ready Very to go, good. dude. Oh, uh, Mark got that killer smile. <laughs> David, David, pleasure. David, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, David. Nice to meet you. Yes. All right. I'm excited, yes. man. I am too. It's gonna I'm be awesome. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at this, the smoker over here. We have some of the, the wood. We have the smoker. What's over here, brisket? Brisket right here. Pull pork right here. I'm putting all sausages and links right here. And then right here, you got chicken right here. And on this guy, we got a... Uh, Dude, the aroma just hit me. Right, right. Incredible. <laughs> right. So what's in here? That's your rib tips right there. And then right here, you got your ribs right there. Whoa. So we're going to get the slugger, right? You said something to the slugger? Oh, yeah, rib tips, pulled pork. Oh, best. Morning, morning. Everybody good? Good morning. Yes, sir. We all good. You know what I'm most excited about? These collard greens. <laughs> Those yeah, collard greens. Those collard greens. Killer. Oh, and what are, what, else, what are the sides you guys have? And this is the roasted potatoes here. Yeah, I'm excited about the collard greens. Might as well check them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all about that southern food. Absolute best. Can't beat it. Perfect. Yes, sir. Awesome. But we're getting it all set up. We're almost done. All right, guys. Let's go to the front. Let's meet JL. JL, where are you? What's look, up, man? Look, Pleasure. Mark, Mark get a name on the thing. We're putting it up today and he here today. No way. Check this out. No, no. Is that right where, uh, yeah, right here. The Mark Wayne platter. <laughs> what? Are we getting that? Dude, no. we're getting, we're getting the Mark Wayne platter. The God. Mark Wayne platter. That's it. That's incredible. Everybody oh, come. And they did it so much, man. No way. When he left, everyone wanted what Mark had. And I just like, look. I'm going to have to put this thing on the menu. <laughs> and we've been so busy because of this guy. <laughs> so so I got there and I said, okay, the Mark Wayne platter, man. I am so excited about it. And uh, people come and they want to eat what this guy ate. <laughs> so the only thing Mark missed was the pork belly. So Mark, we're going to try that today. we got to get pork belly. Now this is here. You see how I can do that? <laughs> That's you know, it? That's great. Right. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> they already ready. I'm allowing it to sweat. Oh my gosh! You see? Oh, dude, that's heavy. Yeah. When that salt there get down inside of there, you got magic, <laughs> then, brother. But that salt have to get down in there. And what people don't understand is that when you when you take a butt and you season on the outside, if I had to show you when that butt right before it was, went to that level. All of your salt would have been just kind of sitting on the top. And it never made it down to the inside. And you see here now, see how shining that is? It's pushing the salt down further into the meat. And that's going to change the whole flavor game. Oh, man. This pork belly is going to get smoked here now. See, in a couple hours, that pork belly will be ready. But then what, we, what we're going to do, we're going to take it and refrigerate it. Like we got some already refrigerated now. And then we slice it while it's nice and cold. And then we get them, we deep fry it. Deep frying? <laughs> we're gonna deep fry it for no two, way. only for two minutes to oh, get man. two to three minutes. And we're gonna get that sear on there. And man, let me tell you something. That is a moment you think you and went to heaven. That right there, that ground beef, that's the beef that we're gonna use. Uh -huh. Now that is not ground beef. That is brisket that been grinded up. And, and pork belly that is combined and and a ground chuck. So I use all of that to make up a burger here called the JL Burger. So what's inside of that burger is brisket meat, pork belly, and you have ground chuck. That is what that is. That's the same thing that goes in our spaghetti. All right, so what are we doing? 
right, well, this right here, we're finishing up the mac and cheese. I'm gonna have JL finish it up for you as well. I'm sorry, what's your name? My name's Second JL. So you're JL's daughter, right? <laughs> I am JL's daughter. You're beautiful. Daughter. Thank you, thank awesome, you very awesome. much. I'm so excited. Yes. Your family is amazing. Your Thank uncle, you. your dad, I mean, the whole experience here so far. Wow, look at this. No, I love it. I love it here. Oh, so. that's incredible. <laughs> so that's going to go over the max, right? Yes. So mac we and cheese. We put three different cheeses in there. We put Gouda, pepper jack, cheddar cheese, and then we put like a Mexican style cheese in there too. We have cubes of cheese that we put in there afterwards, and then we bake it as well. And you top it off with some salt. You just put a little bit of garlic in there. Taste afterwards, but you mix it all in there. I can tell you right now, more cayenne. More cayenne. And keep it nice and thick so when you put it in there, it's still nice and gooey. You don't want to wet. Pour it over it. Yeah. I'm talking about cheese goes and not mac and cheese. But this still ain't done. More cheese gonna get. More cheese go. More cheddar cheese here. And that get put all over that. I don't know more. Taste it right out of the tray here? Taste it right out of the tray. JL mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, wow. The garlic, the cheeses, the smokiness. Oh, it's so rich, it's so creamy. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's try this. So four different cheeses, smoked oh, Gouda. Dude, I've never had something like this in my life. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, dude, it's like an orgasm with mac and cheese, right? I know it, man. It's food porn, man. <laughs> Mm. The back door spice. Back door spice. Right now we're making one of the sides. This is a barbecue spaghetti. Barbecue spaghetti? I've never seen this in my life. So he's basically taking the ground beef, which is three different things, right? So pork belly, we also got the brisket, and then we have the ground, uh, or the beef chuck, right? Ground chuck, baby. Ground go. chuck. Uh -huh. And then we also add two different sausages, one spicy, so the, the hot link, you said? Mm -hmm. And then this one is just a smoked sausage, right? Yep, you got right. it. You and got then, it just right. And that's mixed with tomato sauce and barbecue sauce. This is a side. You get four sides with Mark's platter, plus six different meats. Dude, just look at the glisten of those sausages and the aroma. Those hot links. Oh, man, they're so good. And see, that's what's giving that sauce the flavor. Because I want the smoke to shine, this is barbecue spaghetti, not Italian, okay? <laughs> 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 In Italy, this would be a sin, but... I know, I know, it, I know it, I know it. We're going to go grab that magic ground beef that got three meats in it, okay? And this is the same meats he uses for his JL burger. We'll bring it up. Now, don't grab that at home like that. That thing is hot. The meat juice. It's like sizzling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the meat juice and everything still. Oh. Yeah, almost made a home. Remember, I wanted that sauce to get to a boil. It should be boiling really good. We'll pour all that down off in there. Like that there. We're gonna put the bones down here. Yeah. Chunkiness. The hot linkage and all that giving it flavor. Okay. And the uh, pork, uh, the sausage give it flavor. But that, don't, this ground beef we just put off inside of there. That right there, it add another level of flavor as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna taste this incredible barbecue tomato broth. I'm just gonna get it with nothing but this. It's really hot, right? What is this? I told you. <laughs> Dude, it's the best tomato barbecue combination ever. Oh, man. I told Smoky you. too? Yeah. Not hot? Now the level ain't uh, in I have to get a little. Grab, grab a sauce or something. A sauce, yeah, yeah, get a piece of that sauce. Yeah. Look at this. Grab a chunk. It is so hot. All right, Jill. Moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Flaming hot, though, mm, yeah. Flaming hot, <laughs> smoking. Oh my god, this with pasta? Right in the fryer. 
Drop it in that jump right there. This is the first time I've had pork bread that's been fried. That's crazy. So two minutes, then it's ready. The best barbecue sauce on the planet. Stay safe, I can drink it. You know what, let me try one. Is that okay? You good to go. Good? Right, I'm gonna drink this. Take a shot. Oh my gosh. It's not too thick. Mm -mm. Like a little watery, right? Yeah. You can literally drink it. Mm. Yeah, you really can. There's another video out on YouTube. People just drink it on the side of the road. That's awesome. Wow. Exactly, I was trying to do car right now. Once I get to that bone, I kind of trash it. Uh, rib tips right there. For me, it's brisket and pork belly every time. Really? Man? Every time, man. Give me extra too. Slab of ribs. Full slab. It's really six, but he's throwing in the smoked sausage as well. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you. You're more than welcome, man. Oh, a room in the kitchen. All right, Nate is done. You got Nate, all of Nate's sides. Mm. Okay, oh, it'll wow. sell it. It's done. I can grab it. It's for so you. tender. <laughs> so oily and juicy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Literally fall off the ball. Look at this. Mm. Totally clean. Oh. Dude, it's unreal. Juicy, so tender. Man, that's like unsauced. Mm hmm? Just that rub and that smoke and that time. What's crazy is that this is all Mark's name right here. Right, right, right. <laughs> what a combo. <laughs> okay, I'll get you guys some water, okay? Thank you Thank so you. much. All the collard greens. That smoked spaghetti. Got the mac and cheese. That is a meal right there. Oh man. I can't believe this, right? Oh man, it's an absolute feast. Woo! A feast for two. A feast for two. It's really four <laughs> to six. Side but over here. <laughs> We're doing it for two. Oh okay. man. This is too much. So we got six different meats, four different sides. We got buns, we have sauces. This is the original, right? Yep. And then he started jail, started bottling his sauce too, the hitchhiker sauce. So you got I'm excited mild. to try that, that spicy, the old love spicy version. So we're gonna open this up, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure, so how do we start? What do you think? Man, it's kind of like just, there's so many meats to try that you just gotta choose one and then work your way down the line. Okay. So let's go over here somewhere. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Dude, pulled pork. Jail's legendary pulled pork. You know, it's been a while since I've had a barbecue. All right, man. Mmm. Mmm. The moistness, smokiness. Oh my god, the barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's and the barbecue it. sauce. Wow. And the tender juiciness. Mm-hmm. That sweat finish, as mm. Jail said. Man, it's so good. It's too good. So good. So good. Ridiculous. So next up over here we have what? Brisket? That's the brisket, yeah. That's the brisket. Wow, look at that. So nice tender on the outside, you know, a little <clears throat> that bark. The bark. The bark, yep. You can grab a piece, you can slice it. Yeah, look at that. You could just squeeze the juices out of here. You get that. Oh. The tenderness. It literally just like flowing right out. It just falls off like that. A little squeeze of that more sauce because that sauce is so good. And what I like about jail sauce is it, again it doesn't like overpower, it just complements so exactly. well. You still taste the smokiness of the meats. Nothing's covered up by the sauce. Yeah, and it, what I like about it is that it's not too thick, right? As a sauce. Yep. And I guess I'm just exactly. going all out with this one because exactly you can't really grab it here. Pick it up with your fingers. Right? Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, so tender. Oh, it just crumbles in your mm. mouth. Mm-hmm. That bark, that rub. 
the smoke has penetrated into the muscle of the brisket. It literally just falls apart in your mouth. Awesome. Awesome. So right here we have the rib tips. So what are the rib tips? This is the end of the rib. Yep, like that. I think what's great about the rib tips is it has this kind of cartilage bone in it, which you can usually chew through the whole thing. Specifically, rib tips I think are great with sauce. I'm thinking to pop open Jail's Old Love spicy sauce to try this with it. You wanna, should I just pour some on? Yeah. Yeah, so you have that cartilage, right? So it looks like bone, obviously, yep. but it's soft. Yeah, you can feel that. Yep. It reminds me of the consistency of that chicharron. It's very crispy. crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, and that sauce. Not too spicy. You said there's mint in here, which mm -hmm. like cools you at the same time. And then that pepper, the habanero in there, he said it's habanero. Oh man, this one is the pork belly. Oh, it's the pork belly. Looks like massive cut bacon. Mm-hmm. So basically that's what it is, right? So you have the inside, which is meaty, the outside, a little bit of fat, right? The yeah. layers. Layers and layers. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, my favorite. Oh, the pork belly. It's crispy and fatty and uh, like, oh man, it's just juicy. You feel the layers of the meat. That's mm -hmm. what's, that's the highlight there. Wow. And, this and I love how it's smoked sliced fried quick fried not so it's like fully crispy but just so it has a crispy crust on it i've never had it before so this did it for two minutes That's fried awesome this is the best Sometimes thing so far oh yeah pork belly is insane All right hot links dude i don't even know how we're gonna beat that but yeah let's do it hot links hot links so basically it's just spicy sausage right yep smoked yeah it reminds and me of just chorizo the... just looking at it right cheers man cheers Mm -hmm. Smoky, juicy. You feel like the, they're not like extremely hot, but you feel the chili oil kind of squeezing out mm -hmm. as you take a bite. It's like a backyard kick, right? That's what you're saying? At the very end, you feel back it. Door. Back, back door. Back door, back door, back the door. The back door spice. And yeah, you feel the back <laughs> of your tongue too, the very end. Mm -hmm. And then I like with that little squirt of barbecue sauce on top of that, contrast the flavor, like brightens it up and that snap of the casing. So good. Too good, too good. I, I don't even know what to say about this food, bro. It's like, every bite gets better and better and better. I think we should try a side, right, at this point. We haven't tried any sides. Collard greens? I'm gonna do coll collard greens, yeah. I love collard greens. This is, you know, very traditional in southern cuisine, right? Even how tender they are just in your pork. Mm -hmm. You can taste the spice in the collard greens. Mm -hmm. and what I like about the collard greens is, some people just overcook them to the point where they just disintegrate in your mouth. Mm -hmm. His collard greens though, got a little bit of texture to it, not fall apart tender, yet still tender at the same time. Yeah, very crunchy and chunky. Yeah, and so juicy. Mm. And you taste that spice in there, the seasoning. Yeah, man. And that's another seasoning. one at the very yep. end, you feel it. Yep. Mmm. No, I can eat this all day long. And not oily either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, collard greens are so nice broth. And over here we have the mac and cheese. The mac oh, and cheese has three different cheese blend, and then at the end they added cheddar, right? Like blocks of cheddar. So thick. Oh yeah, gotta say Mark, I'm in barbecue heaven right barbecue now. Barbecue heaven. Mm. That's just oh ridiculously That's rich and thick and hearty and cheesy. And a little bit of ting, right? A little yeah. spice. Yep. And smokiness. Mm-hmm. Smoky, cheesy, everything, man. Oh, wow, the globby cheese. Everything you want in a mac and cheese. I was gonna live my mac and cheese intake today, but no way. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. This is just like too much. It's too Amazing. much. So we got smoked sausage, so we're just gonna yep. throw some more barbecue on, so on top. Yep. And then grab one. Here, yep. All right, Mark, let's do it. All right, here we go. Smoked. Mmm. Mmm. So soft. Smoky. So juicy and yeah. And very smoky too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. I love the barbecue sauce. Love it. So Mark, you think we should put the spicy on top? Yeah, let's do a little bit of 
Is it too much? Barbecue <sighs> sauce. Sure. So habanero right there, so we just gotta pour it out. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Alright, Mark. Alright man, the ribs. The ribs. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Look at that. Bone just fell off. Just Whoa. Slides. Mm -hmm. Slides and melts. And that crust, that seasoning crust is just amazing. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. The smoke rings. Mm-hmm on those ribs. Smoke just goes to the core, all the way to the bone. Insane flavor. Insane. Mmm. Mm. You don't even have to try. When you do this, grab it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. Naked bones is all you're left with. Look at this. I'm gonna eat more of this. Mmm. Between the smokiness, the spice, juices, it's a real barbecue. Yes. It's like a meat coma awesome. right now, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, what did we miss? We're only getting started. We're only getting started. <laughs> <laughs> We've only scratched the surface of yeah. this combo platter. Oh, so we're still missing the spaghetti, and we're also missing the green beans, right? Let's try that spaghetti. Yeah, let's try it. So next up, we got the greens. Green beans. And that's potato, that's not... Oh, sorry, I think we were fighting over a bean yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> so this potato, right? Not yes. sure. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Seasoning, we got seasoning and the garlic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you really feel, right? Garlic, nice and crunchy. Mmm. Seasoning on the potatoes. Very oh. good. Perfect. And they got a nice crunch to them too. Not mm -hmm. overcooked, not not mushy. Beautifully fresh, garlicky. But now we're going something really different, right? I've never seen spaghetti barbecue before in my life. We have to jump on this right now. All right, man. It's got these noodles, right? Yeah, we haven't tried those noodles yet. To all my right Italian now. fans, right, don't man. hate me. <laughs> oh, you immediately taste the smokiness of that, those hot links and that ground beef that he added in there. And the barbecue mixed with tomato? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that tanginess. Mm -hmm. What makes it for me is that tanginess too. Mm -hmm. And the spaghetti is like al dente, right? So not completely too soft, you know, just right. And we also we got some buns, right? Buns, you could you could put stuff in there. You could put especially the pulled pork, probably. Yeah, so just open it up and put it in. Oh, why not? Stuff Let's try it. it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the spice into it, right? Like just like that. I love pulled pork, man. Man, you get all those meat juices, mm -hmm. the oils accumulate, the barbecue sauce. It's flowing right out, right? I love a spicy sauce, man. All right, man. Cheers. It's like little pulled pork, pork sliders. Mm -hmm. mm. I never used to get the white bread served at barbecue, but I finally do because it's not its not adding any extra flavor to the meat. It's yeah. merely like holding it together so exactly. you can hold it in your hand. It doesn't provide anything but that. And that's what you want because you want the meat to shine. It's very fluffy, right? It combines everything. It's like a glue in a way. Uh -huh. Oh, man. You can dip your bread into the bottom of the pan. Oh wow. Accumulate the barbecue sauce, the meat juices, and the oils. And that's like the oh look at it, glushing. Mm. Oh wow. Man, that's the flavor down there. I'm gonna take a peek in there. Yeah, oh yeah. man, that is fully loaded. Oh it is huge. Huge. Look at this. You can feel the weight of it. And <laughs> fully loaded. There's tomatoes, there's lettuce. Uh Trying to find a, the perfect single bite, I'll just I'll just go in. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's so good. <laughs> Muscularness of the shrimp. And that rumelade is great. It tastes like the mustardiness of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right, all right. Thank you so, so much, Mark. Appreciate you there. So good. He ate so much food already, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then let me know. This catfish, right? Um, or the shrimp. Oh, the shrimp. Okay, because he was talking about catfish yeah, before. Same thing. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. The creaminess, the fluffiness. Mmm. I love the shrimp. David been here. Whoa. The spice. You're yeah, right, man. On point. Sauces. 
Sports app. Thank you. You're very appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Appreciate it. My man, my man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, you. Sir. Yes. This family is so amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mark, oh, man, you know it. All day long. Yeah. Yeah. So excited for your day. Yeah. JL Smokehouse, gotta come here. This is a man. Mark, what's your next? Yeah, so we're gonna go quickly over here to a place called Little Miss Barbecue, which is specifically Texas style barbecue, their brisket and their beef ribs. Really good. I have no idea how Little Miss is gonna top JL's, but I'm sure it's gonna be really good. I'm excited, Texas barbecue, let's go. Woo. After a quick five minute drive, we're here at Little Miss Barbecue. Eh, let's see if they still have some barbecue. It's already 2.30, right? You know, usually there's a line. You have to get here, get tickets. There's a line and you go inside, but I'm sure they still have, for sure, the brisket and the ribs. Hey, what's up? What up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, bro. Uh, we have one beef rib left. One? Oh, it's a big boy. It's two and a, like, two, 2.2 pounds. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll <laughs> yes. take it. All right. We'll head on inside. I'm guys. sorry. What's your name? I'm Corey. David. Corey. David. Nice, nice to meet you. So let me ask you, how does it work here? What's the process? I know like we're late. Yeah. Line gets going around 9, 930, sometimes 10 on slower days, but today we start strong. So luckily we have most of the meat still. It's usually not the case, but yeah, man. Okay. And the beef ribs is only on Friday and Saturday. When? Only on Friday and Saturday when we get the beef ribs. Make it here on a weekend. Yep. Got to get here early, but today's the rare exception that we still have a have a big boy left. I I would go get that. Though. Oh yeah. Let, let's go get that. Let's go get that. It's like a dinosaur rib almost, right? Like a monster. So where are we go? In here? Hey, how you doing? What's up, guys? How you doing? Whoa! What's going on? We're looking for that last Whoa. beef rib. It's so funny, we hear your name all the time. Dude, thank you. And so many people are like, so do you know him? And I'm like, uh, watch that video again, because I'm the dude who served him that day. And they're oh, like, oh, yes. really? I'm like, dude, yes. there's over 10 million views on this video. Not like, one person's recognized me. It was me. like five years ago. It was a long ago, time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. things are like 11 yes. million views now or something. Yeah. It's crazy. They're almost 13. Cool. I just checked it out they're this morning. almost 13 now? Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. One, yeah, she used to have another bone on the left side and it fell right off. <laughs> That's our yeah. brand new jalapeno cheddar sausage. Nice. Jalapeno cheddar sausage. Uh-huh. Yeah, these first few slices of leaner. Put it on here. Mm -hmm. Uh just a couple days. Yeah. I wish I was here as a mac. What you need, man? Yeah. So there's yeah. two different so we do the plate versus the other rib. Yeah. So this is what most people are used to versus this. Yeah, so we do the shark rib. All right, so if you guys don't know the difference between pork ribs and beef ribs, this is the difference. The size, massive. There's actually three different sections of the beef ribs, and this is the lower part. Look at this, guys. I can't even pick it up. Gigantic. Two and a half pounds. <laughs> It's huge. It's That's huge. so much meat on bone. Look at that, you just like, look at this. Dude, look at that crust. Yeah. Mmm, saltiness. Peppers, too. <laughs> oh my god, I am so excited for this. Dude, dude how do we do this? They're beef, and we came on the right day again when they have the beef ribs. This is the like king of meats here at Little Miss. They know how to do beef ribs. And beef ribs are like, they are not easy to do. It's just challenging to do beef ribs. I mean, it's a special thing to do, right? That's why nobody. That's why I mean, like, they're one of the few that just have mastered the beef ribs. And in t besides the size, look at the top, right? The crust. So yeah. it's like salty, lots of pepper, and then you got the fat right here. So how do we do it? Just like side to side, right here, like it's so big, so big. We won't even meet in the middle. Ready? <laughs> oh wow. Mm. Oh my god. It's juicy. It's fatty. The crust. Mm. Oh, it's a perfect amount of pepper. And you don't even need the sauce for this. I would just go ham on this right here. It would the smoke has penetrated all the way, the thickness of it, and the smoke penetrates all the way to the bone. It's so gooey. It's so smoky, it's gooey. <laughs> I just sure. met barbecue heaven right here. Yeah, one more. Wow. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and that oh. bark. Mm -hmm. Bark is insane. 
And I love that piece right here, right touching the rib, and it just falls off. So good. Come to Phoenix for this one. Oh. There's, there's pickled jalapenos, there's onions, and that just kind of really cleanses your, your mouth because you know you, uh, the meats are so salty, so fatty. So incredibly good, but you've got that, that acid to contrast, which I think is a perfect balance. Cuts the meaty saltiness of it. I personally would go with the jalapenos. Mmm, not too spicy. Mmm. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Right? It just cuts that, that fatty juiciness. Oh, so good, the pickles. Yeah, pickles are great. Mm. Crunchy, juicy, a little refreshing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Insanely good. Okay, so next up we gotta try the brisket, right? Yeah, sure. So we got four cuts. Look at this. Oh, you can feel how tender it is. All right, man. Yeah, mm. I don't know what it's right? But, um, so they didn't tell me anything. That fatty, crusty rub on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice so, and tender. Yeah. Dude, it falls so apart tender. again. Melts in your mouth and yet it like crumbles at the same time. Mm hmm. All that moisture is preserved in it. What's amazing is that you literally take two bites and it goes down your esophagus like in two seconds. Mm. It just disappears on your tongue. You don't even know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> this is an insane barbecue, man. Yeah. Texas style. And obviously, we got some over here, some barbecue sauces, right? So we have mustard sauce, we got spicy sauce, and then this one is just regular, right? Tangy and tasty. Yeah. So, should we pour one of these on top? Yeah, definitely. Put some on the side and we can dip that brisket in. Yeah. So, because it's Mark, we're going spicy. Oh, yeah. And look at that. You could tell it's a little thicker, right? It's not as watered down as the other one, right? Let's just go in here just like literally drown it, right? Oh, big barbecue sauce guy, you know? For me, always. And brisket's incredible. Mmm. Mm. That brightens it up. A little sweet. Sweet, tangy. Yeah. It, it just like, it does complement the meat extremely well. Because it just goes with that smokiness again. Mm -hmm. It's like a barbecue honey sauce, right? Glazy. Yep. Mmm, not spices. A little different from the last ones. Jails is completely different, right? Oh, next up we got the cheese sausage, yeah. right? When he slices this open and that cheese just oozes, oozes out. It's a beautiful thing. You still see it right now. You squeeze it. Yep. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. The cheese is so oozy, it makes a sauce for your sausage. It's just melted into it. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to add anything. That's it. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, the flavor of the some kind of a green chili in there too, right? It is. It is. is it, yeah, yeah. Is it jalapeno or is it? Um, but you taste the flavor. Of it. Not spicy, but you taste the flavor of it. Yeah, you taste the flavor. Of it. A little the chili, flavor, right? Yeah. A little smoky as well, obviously. Oh, it's but so like, good. Literally, just cheddar cheese is, you know, coming so out. Good. That's the star. Right here. Look that at is this. the king right there. <gasps> it's going here. That's the. Oh yeah. Mm. The oil is coming you out. You guys, actually, this side is even juicier and fattier mm -hmm. than the back side. Look, so you, you can see the difference, right? So right here we have like, all the fat on the bone. Oh, that's my favorite part. Man, that fat just renders down and just infuses the meat, keeping it moist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ridiculously moist. Two pounds. You have this, you're done. Mm. I'm going to use it as a pillow. <laughs> it's that soft. Yeah, it's softer than any pillow I've ever used. <laughs> Food coma, bro. <laughs> oh, you feel it with me. So with me, when you start eating, you know, you don't notice how much you're eating, but you get really full, right? I think because it's so tender, mm -hmm. you're eating and swallowing, you don't even know where it went, and all of a sudden it's just like in your hitting gut. you in your gut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it goes down so easily. Oh. The burns is like a steak. Mm -hmm. It's tender, but you know, you feel it, you're chewing it. Exactly. It's like with barbecue, you're not even barely chewing. It's like two chews and it's down, yeah. and then you're like wanting more, and then you're like, oh yeah. I'm oh getting, yeah. I'm getting the meat sweats. The meat sweats, dude, you know what? I was actually feeling it up here, you know? like. Oh yeah, well it happens. Like, <laughs> oh man, so good, and we actually have some dessert. What do we have here? Oh, this is their famous uh, pecan pie. Oh, pecan pie. Oh, which is, I believe it's smoked too. No um, way. But yeah, I had this when I came here last time. Perfect way to end a barbecue meal. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's smoked on there. 
that crust. Look at that crust. It's like a nice dense cookie. I love pecan pie. Oh, and so gooey on the bottom. Let me break this. Here, I got I broke the seal down there. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at the gooiness on the Gooey, there. smoky. What's also very cool is they have like music, Texas style music, right? So you really feel like you're in Texas, but you're in Arizona. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. We love pecans, very nutty. Mmm, cooking crust. That bottom gooey, like pudding like mm -hmm. texture on the bottom is just unbelievable. Dude, it's like almost like a marmalade, you know? It's just so rich. Man, when it comes to pie, this is as good as it gets. You know, never had a smoked pecan pie before. Mm. Oh, imagine this with some little ice cream on top. Man. Yeah, and after all the salty meats, mm -hmm. the contrast of the sweetness, really good. Yeah, you have to cut that, right? Really, mm -hmm. really good, yeah. These are custom built by our boss, and like, or custom built and designed by our boss and his business partner. They're actually across the street. It's called Camelback Smokers. So with these dudes, we can get them loaded up with maybe like 32 briskets at a time. I mean, obviously size and all that, but I mean, an average of 28 to 32 briskets here. But yeah, these two are 1,000 gallons. This one actually back here is the original first barrel that our boss ever had. And it was on a trailer, so it, you know he ended up just parking, taking it off the axle and parking it back over there. So definitely come here on a Friday, you know, early 11, right when they open, you can see the smokers as they open them, pulling out everything. So today they're not doing it because they're not coming for tomorrow, because tomorrow's Sunday, you guys yes. are closed tomorrow? We are closed, our other location will be open tomorrow. Okay. okay. This is the original, gotta come here on University Drive, right? Man, these are the smokers. Next time I'll come, I'll go right in here, in here with you. Hey. My man, we're done. No more barbecue. What a day. What a day. Both a totally different style. Mm -hmm. You have to come to both of them when you're in Arizona, when you're in Phoenix. They're just great people, incredible food. Different experiences, right? One's a fusion barbecue. This one's more Texas. Also, location-wise, very different. This one's more like, I guess, like a barn style, outdoors. You see all smokers. The other one, you have indoors, you have outdoors. Here you have indoors as well. And just very different. For me, this rib over there, I'd say everything. I mean, to be honest, I can't like narrow it down. I am in love with barbecue here in Phoenix. Mark, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate thank it. You, David. This is awesome. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Start on my channel, his channel. And yeah, wow. Food come again, man. Another oh, great man. day, another great day. Meat sweats for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, Guaranteed. Yeah. Wow. Hey, dude, oh, and I want to so say good. thank you so much for these three days. Yeah, thank you, These David. three days were Thanks awesome. Thanks for coming out, man. Woo. I'll see you again, I guess, in a year or two. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Literally, like, every few years we see each other, so. Yep. Just depends where we are, right? For sure. Oh.